I spent 20 years as a wonk. I was focused on research and statistical analysis, legislation, testifying in Congress, going on the news shows to talk about, you know, different visions for the country, what we needed around jobs that don't pay enough, around collective bargaining and unionization, around trade policy and tax policy, funding for our schools, um, refunding public college so that it would be debt free again. Like this is what I did. And ultimately after working in this field, trying to kind of just study problems, craft evidence-based policy solutions, and then get them in front of policymakers and decision makers and, and kind of hope that they would make better economic decisions. I kind of threw my hands up in frustration around 2017. And I said, you know what? I kind of feel like we've been um, a hamster in a wheel and the things, the tools that we have to make policy decisions to improve most families' lives, they're kind of broken because I don't know how many more times I tell you that yes, you know, Walmart could afford to raise its, you know, base pay from $7.25 an hour, you know, and, and do the math for them and say, well, you could pay for it like this, you could pay for it with stock buyback. You know, it was like it wasn't about the math. It was about something else. And what I really discovered was that it was about kind of a deeper story that we tell ourselves in this country about who we are to one another and what human beings are worth. Um, and in our increasingly, increasingly racially diverse country, it was a really racial story. And so I set out on a journey that was an intellectual journey, uh, you know, sort of out of law and economics, which I had been trained in and more into the social sciences and actually journalism. And, you know, put my One little D -B my, um, in front of, um, you know, what was ultimately hundreds of people all across the country over the course of three years to tell a story that was more convincing to me about why it is that, as I say in the front, the first line of the book, why it seems like we can't have nice things in America. And it helped me understand. And I, I just want to say that because, you know, mm -hmm. I have a law degree and I was the head of a think tank and it was my job to know what was wrong with the economy. And I didn't know so much of what you read in The Some of Us. So much of what I uncovered was new to me. And I want to say that sometimes because sometimes when people read the book, they're like, oh, my God, I felt like stupid that I didn't know all of the ways that this explicit racism contributed to so many of the things that we we live and breathe today. And, you know, and I'm sure we'll get into this a little bit, but we've been lied to, right? I mean, you know, all of us, black, white, and brown have been woefully miseducated about our shared history. 